Traditional radiation therapy attacks more than cancer. Because surrounding healthy tissue gets hit too, treatment-related side effects have become just another challenge for cancer patients. Fortunately, newer, more precise technology is now available. It's called tomotherapy. Using advanced imaging and radiation delivery capabilities, tomotherapy targets cancer like never before. Learn more about today's cancer treatment options at Gamma West Cancer Services in St. George, Utah. Andy Griffin with STG News, and uh, we're at the Region Track Championships, and Desert Hills has had one phenomenal two-day uh, performance here at uh, Hurricane High School. Uh, I'm with head coach Dace Golding. Coach, if you can tell me a little bit about about this team and how you guys have been able to get to, get so darn good. Well, we've had a we've had a good, deep, consistent group. You know, we have a great thrower. We have an excellent jumper. Our distance core is a. a a real good group of uh, strong runners, and then our sprinters. You know, we just we just kind of hit all events really well. So, and and it seems like to me, and I'm talking with people around that uh, you guys are deep in that. You have young guys too that are stepping up. I, I mean, we talked with uh, with the uh, Sweeney kid, and he's just a junior. You know, so you, it's not like you're losing a bunch of guys either. This could be a, a program that could be good for a long time, huh? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I mean, we'll uh, we'll definitely miss our senior distance kids you know that's that's going to be a big blow for us and then the one thrower um, that's just been awesome since he was a freshman but we've got a good group a good strong group coming up in the next uh, two three years yeah we were uh, doing the math and there's actually one event still going uh, here for varsity but uh, your score is phenomenal over 200 points coach and, and uh, some people were surmising maybe a region record all time for most points scored at a region meet uh, did you think that you had that kind of potential this year actually when we set up at the beginning of the year set up our goals one of our goals was to hit 200 at region but we had no idea we were going to go uh, to you know 250 possibly yeah. yeah you guys do well in the four by four and you're over 250 which is it's mind-blowing isn't it yeah, it is it really is I mean to think that every event we score that kind of points is is really a, a testament to how hard we've worked from the you know from middle of January first of February so how do we apply this to state you guys obviously have one more kind of sort of big event coming up next week right. how is this going to translate over to state do you think you know i think that we're the underdog going in i think that richfield's got uh, uh, an amazing senior group of kids um, they also realize that this might be the last time that they get a chance to um, to go for the state championship so we're kind of the underdog but we like that and uh, we'll go in relaxed and run well all right, Coach. Well, fantastic two-day event for you, and good luck at state. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. All right, we're talking with Blake Carford, who uh, state champion in the shot put and discus last year, and the odds-on favorite to win it again, and just got crowned as a Region 9 champion again. And Blake, how are you feeling about your performance this weekend first? Uh, I feel I feel good about it. I mean, my coach has been working me hard. We've been focusing on a lot of technique stuff because uh, a lot of the throwing events is about te the technique and such. So just focusing on that, working hard in practice, and trying to – defend that state championship you know since I'm a senior and everything so what goes into uh, what goes into preparing for these kinds of events because most people that maybe are watching this video don't know a ton about discus and shot put and it, it, it almost feels archaic that we even do those events anymore because because they're so unique what goes into preparing is and plus they're two different events so how are you able to be so good at both of them uh, I have to say it's just a lot of what goes on in your head honestly I think goes with the hard work and repetition repetition as my coach says you know he, the more you practice it the better you get at it so and I mean when people watch me they think that it's easy they look at it and they're like I could do that but <laughs> let me tell you something it's, it takes work <laughs> it's like it's like being a sports writer which is oh I could do yeah, that exactly. but it's, it's actually not that easy just like uh, just like your your deal uh, all right uh, so how much of it is technique how much of it is strength how much of it is uh, like you said the mental side of it I mean what, what goes into those uh, the most 100% uh, mental 90% technique and 10% strength. A lot of it, you can't use your strength unless you got the technique to go with it. So, you spend a ton, ton of time in the weight room. Yes, I do, <laughs> and I also, I, but I spend two times more time out and working on my form and everything. So, wow, that's, that's pretty phenomenal. Now, yeah. Desert Hills uh, has built a great track program just in a, a relatively short uh, period of time. I mean, you obviously you've been around for a few years with the program, but pretty new program. What, what would you attribute the success of Desert Hills to? 
Ah, I don't know. I think teamwork. I think a lot of us are we're all good friends. I think we all get to know each other really well on the teams, and the coaches help a lot with that too. Um, coaches are really friendly to us, and they they know they like to make us laugh, and uh, we just have a good time with each other, and it helps you know work with each other. The more we compete with each other, and it just you know overall it's good. It's nice. It helps. All right, you've got uh, state next week. Obviously, that's very important to you. But if you don't mind, if we could ask about what Blake's going to do after state, what what's on the uh, agenda for you in the future? Well, I'm going to serve an LDS mission, uh, but I'm going to accept a scholarship hopefully before then. I got some offers, so I'm going to try and see what my options are and to see if I can defer a scholarship before then. I don't know uh, for sure answers yet, but. So you haven't decided, huh? You're just, uh, it's kind of out there still. Huh? Waiting, you know, but I mean, first things first, I got to serve the mission and then come back and then see where it goes from there. Have you put your papers in yet? Yes, I'm going to Osorno, Chile. Osorno, Chile. Congratulations, man. Congratulations on the region championship and uh, good luck at state. Yeah, thank you. Nice All right, we're talking with Chandler Sweeney, who uh, is quite an athlete. Chandler, you won the long jump, the high jump, and second in the 100 meters. Now, to me, okay, long jump and high jump kind of go together, but then to throw in the 100 meters with that, uh, I mean, that, that's pretty amazing. How do you feel about things right now? Yeah, I feel pretty good, actually. Even though I took second in the 100, like, I'm mainly a jumper, but I don't know. I just feel good. Where do you get your athleticism from? Because I know your mom is a, is a coach and, and an athlete. Uh, do you get it from her or what? Yeah, just from my mom. My dad's pretty lazy. <laughs> okay, tell me a little bit about your experience as a Desert Hills uh, uh, track athlete. I mean, obviously the program that uh, has been put together over there at Desert Hills is solid. You guys have you know, taken region, it seems like, every year and competing at state and, and things. Why do you think Desert Hills has gotten so good? Well, we've been training a lot, and it's good. Like, the cross-country does really good, and we all just – mainly we have fun. Like, we just goof around and practice yeah. and stuff like that. But. Blake uh, Carford is another one of the stars, of course, on Desert Hills. Are you and Blake tied? I mean, you guys give each other a hard time? or? Yeah, me and Blake are tight. We have a couple classes together. We just mess around with each other. <laughs> That's, I heard he's quite a prankster, so do you, you don't let him get you, do you? No, no. I could take him. <laughs> Good. All right. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, your uh, thoughts on state. Obviously, next week, very, very serious week, very exciting week for you guys. Uh, how do you feel about your chances and how the team will do? Well, I feel it, it's good competition, and I love competition. Mm -hmm. uh, I think our team will do really good if they keep training and just having fun. So that's it. All right. Well, good luck, man. Congratulations on your couple of region championships today, and uh, good luck next week. Thank you. All right.